is another story of bullying behavior involving people in the healthcare field. And this one's going to cost a small town in northern Ontario its longtime doctor. It's happened in Latchford, which is 20 minutes south of New Liskard. And a misunderstanding over vaccinating and unvaccinated people has led to harassment and even a death threat. The story tonight from CTVZ in Campbell. Dr. Gretchen Rohde has had a long career of helping those who need it most, but now at 69 years of age, she's had enough. Uh, there was a complaint to the College of Physicians and Surgeons about me, and so that was, you know, when I had an email from them, that was one trigger. And then just some of the people that phoned and were harassing on the phone was another trigger. And then I thought, you know, really, it's time. The Temiskaming District has had a tough time with COVID, reaching an all-time high active case count of 83 earlier this week. The trouble began after Rody's office tried to limit who comes into the clinic and who would need to be seen by other means. A longtime family physician, Rody says she never once refused anyone treatment, but a local politician had suggested on social media she was. They've since spoken and made up, but with news of her retirement, he's now a target for social media outrage. We have differences of opinion. We, we resolve our differences. We're working together to promote vaccination in the community. Um, so there, and now it's very unfortunate to see that he's now subject to the same kind of Facebook harassment that I was. Rody is hopeful people out there, whether they be a vaxxer or anti-vaxxer, take a breather. She says the harassment is not needed or warranted on either side. A lot of it is people clearly don't have enough to do with their time. If you can waste that much energy on social media, you know, get a life. The Ontario Medical Association says situations like Latchford are indicative of a bigger problem. It says no one deserves this kind of treatment. Uh, this is sort of a simple human decency conversation that we're having, but unfortunately it's, it's mired by the fact that uh, we've had so much division as a result of the pandemic. And as we're starting to think about the future, we need to really focus on coming together. The good news is Dr. Rohde says she'll be working to help facilitate the search for her replacement, someone who can take over the practice. For now, she plans to focus on her practice and working with counsel to ensure the community gets vaccinated. Ian Campbell, CTV News, Sudbury.